Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com and in this video, I wanted to outline a couple of best practices and approach uh, when you're uh, involved in swing trading. So in swing trading, uh, especially with options, uh, there is always the issue of earnings reports and how they come and disrupt the trading cycle. And we'll go into the platform and we'll check the uh, implied volatility situation and the earnings report calendar as well. And uh, let's try to understand what would be the best way to approach uh, earnings reports and the impact that they have on uh, swing trading approaches. And so in October, the earnings season will start again. And therefore, uh, it is uh, the swing trading course will also be timely in that sense. As we know that earnings reports come up every three months and so they have a big impact on trading especially when you're trading options and most importantly it has an impact on the trade time frames uh, whenever these earnings reports uh, come in. We'll discuss the course and everything later but with earnings reports we know that there is an implied volatility a massive phenomenon takes place and that is the implied volatility rises as you approach the earnings event and it starts rising about three to four weeks before the actual earnings report itself and then once the earnings ha uh, happens then the implied volatility gets crushed and it's called a volatility crush and so what happens to options prices is leading into the event, the option prices go up quite a bit. In fact, they can even double or triple their normal value uh, depending on the stock. And then once the earnings report is over, over the next day or two, this volatility gets crushed and it comes back to normal. And we call that the normal state of volatility for that particular stock. So let's go ahead and take a, a look at an example of how this would look like. Let's take an example of this earning cycle on the stock chart itself. Here we are looking at Google and if we see the previous earnings report was released on 723, which means uh, July 23rd. And so we would expect that the next earning cycle would come in roughly around 90 days later. And so we can get some idea from the options chain itself. So if we come here and look at the series, you can see that the implied volatility for Google is anywhere from 24, 25 and suddenly it jumps to 28.77 over here and that would be 26th October. So by our calculation around the 23rd of October is when Google would release its uh, earnings report and that would be after the 19th October and before the 26th October and you can see that the volatility jumps and then it also falls back after that. So we can be pretty sure that this is the uh, series that is being impacted by the earnings cycle itself. So depending on what kind of stock it is and what kind of trade outlook we have, there are very specific approaches uh, that swing trades can take so that we don't necessarily have to get disrupted by the earnings cycle. So what I mean is there are trades that you can construct that you will take off before the earnings report itself. There are trades that you can take that you will carry through into the earnings event. And then there are trades that you can put after the earnings event. So based on these things, your swing trading approach need not be disrupted by the earnings cycle. And so in the October swing trading uh, session, we're going to cover all of this and we're going to run into earnings cycle as well, which is why I wanted to start it in October. And so now we'll give you some details about uh, this uh, class here. In the swing trading course in October, this is a private course and it has a password and that is swing October 2018. And if you use the coupon swing 49 before September 16th, you get it for $49. Now the link for this you might have to copy this link and paste it into your browser as you won't be able to click into this video. It is bit.ly slash uh, swing Udemy October all one word and that will take you to the course page and um, you can I think it should have the coupon already in there if you're uh, if you're taking it before September 16th and uh, the password for that course is swing October 2018 so this course uh, will be very focused on the earnings uh, cycle because earnings uh, reports will start right after October 7th or October 10th for the third quarter and so we'll be running into these earnings situation quite a bit and there's a lot of uh, uh, dynamics that come into this picture at that time so there's a lot to learn it's an interesting exciting uh, trade ideas course coming in october and look forward to seeing you there thank, thank you